Hello everybody, uh, I'm gonna do a little video here just noodling around with the new UVI Falcon VST. There's a lot of people wondering uh, what this thing's all about, what it can do, and uh, I think a lot of people are just curious to see it in action because uh, there's not a lot of uh, there's not a lot of information on it outside of the original video that uh, UVI put out. So uh, I mean I I've, I've found it interesting enough to purchase it. Um, so uh, might as well just share it with other people. Um, so this is what it looks like right after you open it up. It kind of reminds me of Reactor, um, Native Instruments Reactor, uh, in that it like it's not it's definitely not graphically intuitive uh, right off the get go. Uh, so what you want to do is uh, over here there should be a box that says empty and uh, you just double click that and then you can uh, you'll have to set these but you can select your sound banks from there and you can open up other uh, UVI libraries on on uh, with this which is kind of cool because um, it, it uh, it'll actually show you the the samples which is something that uh, at least if you're using the uh, the default UVI um, VST I can't remember even what it's called you workstation or something it doesn't show you any of that stuff I'm not sure if uh, if the uh, Motu one does let you Mach 5 might show you that stuff I'm not sure but anyways this one will show you that stuff so it's kind of fun to uh, see it uh, I'm not sure if you can fiddle with it but you can definitely see it which is appreciated but anyways so the uh, the factory presets here uh, for Falcon the ones that come with it uh, here's a just a quick breakdown of everything you got I think if you were to add that up it's probably around 200 or something not that it really matters um, the the good thing about these presets is uh, it seems uh, many of them are, are to show you what Falcon can do um, and at least a few of them are immediately usable um, in projects like uh, uh, Angry Louie um, this was the this is just one of their base patches um, this was actually the first preset I opened and it immediately gave me a good uh, a good impression of this uh, VST so uh, I'm just gonna fiddle around for a second show you what it's like by the way I'm not a keyboard player uh, I'm barely even a guitar player what I am is a noodler I'm gonna noodle it's gonna be off time if I were to make a song I would have to use quantization and all this crap so I'm not gonna do that here so it's gonna sound crappy but uh, hopefully you can see through that and just get an idea of what some of these sounds can sound like yeah this is almost a plasticky pluck to this that I really really enjoy that I could I could easily fiddle with that for a long time and not even make a song just fiddle with it like a toy uh, but anyways uh, that was that's kind of the only preset I remember really uh, from my first uh, couple of go through so I'm just gonna randomly go through some of this really quickly um, just give you a sense of some of what it's got <laughs> that's just with one key held down it'll sound like. Not, not the best. I guess this one's not meant for that many notes. About just two. Uh, I've noticed that with this VST. There's a lot of uh, a lot of presets. They kind of make a song for you by default, and I don't know how or what's going on. It, it's like a very complicated. Um, VST so like if I wanted to break that down actually I might as well do that this is a pretty complex sounding uh, patch so if you want to see what's going on here I mean they have these sections here but I mean my first the first time I opened it I was looking at this and like seeing that like I don't know what that's doing and trigger mode uh, multiple section batch like all these things are things to sort of manipulate the sound and it's not immediately clear what's going on um, or what you're looking at even um, that's something that I it's a maybe a negative uh, but it's something that I want to figure out because I see a lot of potential with this so if you want to break down a patch and see what's going on um, you click on the tree tab here and then you can start seeing like how many layers are there and this is how you can filter between 
uh, the three different sounds going on. That was something I couldn't figure out the first time I, I used it. So here you can see that there's um, there's three things going on right here, including some scripting, uh, arpeggiators, what else is going on here? Different filters, different sounds. Some are using reverb, some aren't. By the way, um, this VST cannot be used as an effect send, so you can't uh, you can't get spark verb and their delay off it, which is a flippin' bummer. Because uh, spark verb sounds good, and I wish I could use it, but I'll stick with uh, I guess whatever I was already using. So uh, besides looking at this stuff, I don't actually know what the hell I'm doing, so I can't really make any changes that would be meaningful. Especially with a complicated patch like this, so let's let's stick with the less complicated patches for now. Oh, it's all it's three chords I'm holding down right here. It's almost a Mass Effect thing. Like you can imagine adding a bass to this, like that even that bass I was already using, um, and then just adding like some pumping to it, and you would already have the Mass Effect soundtrack. I mean, it's such a good time to be making music on the computer these days. Um, I only got into this like five years ago, and I'd been putting it off for at least six years before that. Um, you know, I was a little intimidated by how much there was. Um, uh, but um, it's never been a better time. Sure, what this one would be good for. Every VST has its weird patches. wheel actually uh, triggers the gate. Immediately usable. You could use that on a Mass Effect song. Immediately. Probably have to use that on some of the other patches. Alright, mod wheel triggers reverb. And apparently, phase distortion. Cool. Alright, FM sounding here. Reminds me of early Genesis songs. Not the band, the system. Anyways, I don't have a lot of time, so, uh, you know, like there's a lot of different ones. I'm sure they're all along the same quality. Um, but let's keep it going here. There might be a little clicking, but I think that's because I'm recording too much stuff at once with open broadcast and uh, Cubase. Oh, I'll show you the uh, usage. The usage statistics. Like some of these things can really eat it up. It's just a bell patch. I don't know why that, that's eating it up so much. But keep in mind, I do have like a lot of stuff running on my computer right now. Ooh, those are the kind of patches I like. wheel does too. Alright. It's a little panning. That's neat. That's immediately usable. Hmm. 
mod wheel actually triggers the pitch bend. That's cool, there's kind of reminds me of uh, Wings of Phenam Eyes. Super echoey. Still doing the bells here. Cool. All right, so I, oops, I think you get the idea with the bells. I'm gonna try and keep going here. Chords. Some of these presets are super well thought out, and like I'm not a big fan of like one note creates your whole song, but it's interesting to break these kind of patches down to see what they're doing, and then you know make your own tweaks and stuff. I mean, that's some cool stuff. Song in a box right there. I didn't make any changes. Ooh. Oh, that might be clipping the hell out of my Cubase. What a noob. What a noob I am. Dance. Similar stuff. All right, Jesus, I don't have time to go through all this crap. I found these distorted ones. Not the best. I did like that one, I remember. The rest. Like if you're LF, MAO, whatever frick they are. Like, hey, dance! Not a big fan. This one, it's called Doom Metal. I don't know what they were going for here. But I like it. it reminds me of uh, Ninja Turtles. When Shredder comes out. How did that, how did that song go? But they do have aftertouch on here. You can use it. It's just it's not in all the presets. This one's a little uh, wax happy. All right, I take it back. Some of those are okay. Keys. I mean, I have to go in about two minutes. Like, here's your D50. Pick that air cursing. Um, maybe I'll do another video on this, because there's uh, a lot I would like to show what is going on. Like, all this crap, the sample stuff. Um, all these things, I don't know what they do yet. 
So, I mean, this is just a, a little gander at the presets. Leads. Uh, I wasn't like immediately blown away by any of the leads. I could use that one. Okay. Well, I don't know why they let me use chords. Uh, they do also have some splits in here. I don't remember where they were. It's just... Ugh. I hate super saws and super squares. Not my cup of tea. Alright, so here's one that actually uses the uh, FM with a lot of noise for some reason. Not really sure what this patch is. Maybe Mayfield makes more sense to someone. I don't know. Um, I will say that uh, I wasn't like blown away by the FM patches either. Um, like their FM doesn't seem to have the bite that uh, you kind of want from FM. Send me an angel. Yeah, sounds like that. All right, well, it's getting a little long in the tooth here. This is cool. This is part of their new, uh, I just, I think this is cool. You can see what's going on, and um, I don't know if you can time this or quantize it, but the visual certainly does help. I think that's something that uh, is new and fresh feeling. Maybe, yeah, you can see the, I wonder if you can set this to, to show you in beats on a sink. I've always wanted to do that, like create a envelope that um, is in sync with uh, your song, so you want it to be quarter note for the, the, you know, the attack or something. I thought that would be neat, you don't usually see that. Here's an example of some of the wavetable stuff they have. Uh, I don't know how to use it yet, but, you know, it seems like all the wavetable stuff these days has this kind of thing, which is neat that it's in here. Uh, the thing you want to do with wavetable stuff, I find, is, uh, is uh, use the sustain pedal and uh, do a little detuning and stuff. Because I don't really know why you would use it otherwise. Maybe some EDM gurus out there can tell me. See, okay, this says one bar. I wonder if this changes if I change the tempo. I think it does. Would you look at that? Alright, well I don't know how it syncs, but we'll leave it at that. That is a cool feature. We'll see what that thing can do later on. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, sorry this is long and meandering. I will get better at this, and uh, you know, if you guys are interested, I will make some more videos with this VST as I learn how to use it, because I have no idea how to use it right now. I didn't even get to the samples yet, like all this crap, who knows? But I mean, that's not my fault. This is a very complicated VST. Anyways, thanks for sticking with me guys. Hopefully I'll make some more and they'll get better as I go. Goodbye. Hey little goofball. I got a friend. Thanks. Hey, thanks buddy. <laughs>